Housing inventory in Florida, there's a lot of them. In fact, there's so many homes in Florida, it's impossible for a seller to sell. There's not a lot of buyers since most buyers are very hesitant to go into the Florida real estate market because of rising home insurance premiums and also due to hurricanes. And a lot of these insurance companies, some of them just go bankrupt, like the very small ones, and some insurance companies are not paying enough for people to rebuild their houses. There's even a lot of properties literally being sold for the lot value. So after the hurricanes, like Hurricane Milton, many people are trying to sell their homes. This is what the inventory looks like. If you look at this from the beginning of the year, there's about maybe 90,000 homes, maybe like 92,000 homes. Now there's almost 150,000 homes for sale. And the inventory is just going crazy. We're gonna be seeing perhaps a double in inventory in just a very short span of time. And when you look into certain neighborhoods, like this neighborhood in St. Petersburg, there is almost a 150% year over year rise and the number of homes for sale. And certain sectors are crazier than others. At the end of the day, we're gonna be seeing it being a buyer's market. Unfortunately for the seller, you know, a lot of their lives are damaged and it sucks. It's a massive hurricane, billions of damage is being done. And we could be seeing over easily over $50 billion in total damages after these hurricanes. Insurance companies are fleeing. Homeowners are losing valuation on their homes. And people who work very hard for their homes are seeing their money just simply disappearing right before their eyes. And many of these homes are just flooded and a lot of them are hurricane damaged. We're seeing a lot of the market value for some of the coastal luxury homes in Florida decline massively. And people have been saying that Florida real estate is being in serious trouble because of affordability and availability of home insurance. At the end of the day, it's insurance. Every homeowner in Florida after these hurricanes 100% want good insurance, but good insurance is going to cost them an enormous amount of premium. And that's what we're seeing. And it's a lot worse than what people think. And if you look at some of the prices for Florida apartments, they've been slashed dramatically. Like this condo building is very nice in St. Petersburg, Florida with like water views. This is a condo that back in 2014 of this year, like January, it's so let's try to sell it for like $1.2 million, which is like a very expensive price. Now they're trying to sell it for $715,000, almost a half a million dollar cut in the valuation. This is on Zillow. You could go check it out yourself. Now this seller actually bought it all the way back during the pandemic for just 700 grand and made a hefty profit. Now, if it wasn't really for these hurricanes, he could have easily sold it for close to a million bucks, my personal opinion. But because of these massive hurricanes, we're seeing some of the biggest price cuts ever. Insurance, HOA is so high. By the way, HOA is $2,300 per month. I'm pretty sure that also includes insurance. But guys, if I'm going to own a property, I don't want to be paying rent to the HOA every month because $2,300 is basically rent. And that's not even including the expensive Florida real estate tax. We're seeing property taxes going up as well. Look at this, guys. MSN even says Florida hit by worst real estate crisis in decades. Florida condo owners are slashing prices by up to 40% as they strive to dodge massive income repair costs. Now, some units have almost half a million dollars wiped off their asking price. There's also a lot of fears about the safety of these buildings because when you have all that water just come flooding in, it damages a foundation and a lot of the stuff and walls on the first floor. And these condos are extremely heavy, like multi-story massive condo buildings and skyscrapers that are flooded are expensive to fix, super duper expensive. I mean, check this out. This is another really crazy listing on realtor.com. This smoking, smothering, damaged home, which originally looked like this on the right, is now selling for just $260,000. It's been on the market for seven days. And I'm sure somebody is probably going to buy it. They originally tried to list this for about almost half a million dollars. This neighborhood's medium sell price is about half a million dollars. It's selling for almost a 50% discount. It's basically the lot value. So let's see what happens next to Florida real estate. But I could tell you for sure, with the inventory rising, 
in certain neighborhoods and the overall inventory rising in Florida, not a lot of buyers are coming in. You're going to be seeing sweet deals, but the biggest turnoff for a lot of buyers are going to be insurance premiums.